Welcome back from Lovington, Nairobi today, where we show you a wonderful three-bedroom apartment. One that I actually particularly like. I know I say that quite a lot, but this one is stunning, as you'll see in a second. Um, we have a, a development of 58 units and uh, spread across eight floors, all three bedrooms, uh, just like this one, of course. And what the developers have re opted for in this one is to create a very wide living experience. So the living area is very spacious and the idea is to get people to spend more time together in the living areas rather than in their rooms. So as you see, everything is very modern and to make up for the wide space or to fill that, you need some um, design twists basically. So normally what you have is a rectangular table, which would be a bit lost in this big space. So as a focal point in this big room, they've um, put this square table that sits eight people. I think, uh, I mean, I like the design of it with a, a wooden um, style. It really picks up this kind of Nordic vibe that we have throughout the apartment. But I also really like the form. It fills, uh, or the shape, it fills up this room nicely. You can entertain eight people here easily. And um, yeah, it's just a very nice space. And then to prepare the food, if you have all these guests, you also need a lot of space, eight people, eight hungry people, you know. Um, so you have a four burner hob here. There's an extraction fan, which is not yet installed because it's the sump house. Um, you can spot it somewhere in this apartment. So if you see it, put it in the comments if you found the extraction fan. Anyways, uh, white glossy, um, not so glossy anymore since I touched it now. Um, white glossy uh, cabinetry, white countertops, super nice. And then here we have a modern gray brownish kind of color on the lower cabinetry. And you here is a bit rough. Um, so this is a canvas. It's a canvas style. Um, I really like it. I think it looks super cool and um, yeah, really adds to the modern feeling of this place. Then you have the usual appliances and oven, you have space for microwave, you have space for a very big fridge. And out here in the laundry area is where you have um, space for the, the, what's it called? Washing machine. The washing machine goes over here, you have an extra sink. A lot of light and to let this light into the kitchen, uh, those are glass doors. So that's pretty neat because otherwise there would not be a lot of natural light in here. But now as you can see, there's, there's more than enough. So before we go to the living room, I'm gonna show you something on what looks like a wall, but it actually isn't. If you open this, cooler, you just press it and it pops up or pops open, you have a wardrobe. So you can hang your coats. Uh, here you can put your shoes or wine bottles, for example. If you're more into wine than you're into shoes, uh, your choice. And behind that, just very quickly, there's a guest bathroom. Um, it has a toilet and a sink and a mirror, like most bathrooms do. And um, I guess that's all I can really tell you about this bathroom. What I can tell you more about, however, is the living room. And the first centerpiece of this living room is this shelf wall. So you have shelves and then you have some drawers, which again you push to open. Super cool, nice feature, I think. And here you have a little desk. So this desk you can either do use it for reading as you do here or for working or you know if you are um, a bachelor for example and you like to entertain people it's also a very nice space to put a bar so you can put your bottles and glasses and so on in here and then close it up and nobody can see it if you don't want your guests to drink your good stuff or if you're with dear friends and you want to share your good stuff you put it down and you even have some place to mix and put your ice cubes and so on and so forth. So super cool feature. I really like that. And then we enter the living room part of this one big open room. 
and uh, here's a wall where you can put a huge TV and you should put a huge TV because it's actually quite a distance to the couch as I said um, the room is intentionally very wide and um, so you have this couch here they've opted for the sample house for an L-shaped couch and a, um, a lounge chair you can also put a U-shaped couch you, you can really this play around with it this room gives you a lot of opportunities to be a bit experimental and do bold statements um, in that and in case even though this room is huge it gets a bit too stuffy we have a big balcony and I buy it. it's actually really big so don't mind the people working there um, they are working we're not going to disturb them we'll just quickly show you what's outside and um, so yeah they're just working um, we are filming and we are filming this very big balcony so as you can see it's again quite wide as just as the living room was uh, very spacious so is this and the other units actually have even bigger balconies so they can see this overhang over there the unit on the next floor will have all of this as the balcony space so um, you know that is I don't know the square meterage but it's it's quite big so again plenty of side you can put a dining table here and a couch arrangement no problem at all so close the door because there's an ambulance quite noisily driving past and uh, let's continue to the bedroom so as I mentioned all uh, units on this um, development are three bedrooms and uh, as we enter the first of those three bedrooms um, I'll tell you that there is an option to have all bedrooms ensuite this one has the master bedroom ensuite and this one is shared between uh, shares uh, the bathroom which I'll show you in a second with the second bedroom but you can see it's very spacious uh, very wide um, you have a balcony here which actually continues on that side all the way to the second um, uh, bedroom and there are in the higher floors um, balconies that go all the way around so if you if you're an outdoor person that might be a good option for you you have um, a wardrobe space again there's no handles it's just uh, these press to open you need to find the right side to press and uh, yeah plenty of space hanging lockers you have a mirror I really like this design I think it looks super neat uh, matte white and um, especially then in combination with these ac this accent wall both in terms of color as well as in terms of um, these, these uh, design appliances so super nice I really like it you can see the doors are all white the floor is uh, wood tiling so um, it has the entire place has this kind of Nordic feel which also continues in the bathroom so this is the bathroom that I mentioned that shared between the bedroom on that side that we just came from and the bedroom on the other side that I'll show you in a second there's a rainfall shower frosted glass which you can open up here um, if you want some fresh air while showering you can even leave it open because nobody can look in it's so high you see I'm 180 something and it's I need to stretch to get there so nobody can watch you um, yeah toilet sink again what you would expect from a bathroom and then follow me into what could for example be the kids bathroom a uh, bedroom um, so this bedroom is bedroom number two you can have uh, bunk beds in here and uh, just for example have your kids stay here um, I think uh, that's a pretty cool wall actually with the wallpaper really adds a lot of atmosphere to this room simple feature more, more uh, apartments should actually have that I think it looks super cool um, anyways same I'm not very talented at that because you need to know where to push um, same wardrobes and uh, yeah just super nice so just close it and come along 
because now we go into the master bedroom but before we enter the master bedroom um, if you like this video if you like this property please consider giving us a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps us a ton and bring in your new properties and uh, with the YouTube algorithm and if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments and um, we'll answer those and we actually read all the comments and uh, reply to them so that's your it helps us it helps you because you get to know more about the property and um, yeah we get uh, featured by the YouTube algorithm so enough about the YouTube algorithm let's get back to the tour this is the master bedroom and I think that is quite spectacular because you have um, a lot of space you have a floor to ceiling window on this floor on the upper floors you'll actually have a balcony um, as you see it's the same overhang as in the living room balcony that we saw the accent wall again and now a feature that some of you might find a bit strange uh, there is a glass wall to the bathroom so the reason for that is not because we all like to watch each other while sitting in the uh, bathroom um, in the actual this is the sample apartment so in the actual uh, finished uh, ones there will be frameless glass rather than what we have here and it will be frosted so you can't actually look inside and um, there's also the option to have it as like a solid wall if you prefer that I think it's quite nice with frosted glass because you have more natural light coming from that side from the window which already is frosted um, and then you have the sink over here on the side and then for all the people of you that have a lot of um, clothes there is plenty and plenty of um, storage space here so again the same push to open see this one this time I found where to push exactly um, hanging lockers you have um, drawers in here so you can see it's like uh, one two three four double wardrobes more than enough space so um, this development as I mentioned is located in Lavington there and we still have a few units for sale actually there is another development close to here that is finished and they built over a hundred units and they're all sold out and rented so um, in terms of investment this is a very good place Lavington is popular um, you can either let it on a short a long-term basis or I think if you furnish it like this um, getting uh, Airbnb guests that even pay you a higher rent uh, shouldn't be a problem with this location and the layout so definitely consider this if you're thinking about investing a in property in Kenya um, we'd be happy to help you with that just contact us our contact details are below if you're interested in this apartment we can link you up with the right people to speak to we can answer all your questions as I said please put them in the comments and um, yeah then hopefully you may be the proud owner of this apartment one day I want to uh, say a special thank you to our friends from Shotnuts who have very kindly agreed to film this video um, Shotnuts is a, a content production company here um, they film they do photography they do all your content needs so show them some love I put their um, contact details in the description and if you need photography services uh, or filming please uh, reach out to them and uh, they will sort you out wonderful this is it for today and uh, I'll see you next time